Yo, what is going on guys? It's Wrath. Uh, we're back with episode 6. In the last episode, we completed a few of the green quests, and now we are finally getting around to completing all of the three star quests. And then we can finally get to actually play the game. Um, so, we're going to slay the Yayan Kutku in the forest and the hills, and we are going to carry two wyvern eggs back. Um, so, if you've never done this before, I suggest you bring some well done steaks. And if you do run into a Rathalos, I would, uh, I would advise you bring some paintballs so you can paintball him and track him on your mission. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do this egg mission first. Uh, I really hope that I, um, don't screw this up. Because it's kind of a hard mission and I really don't want to have to do this. All the egg gathering missions are hard, but this one specifically harder. You have 30 minutes to do so. Uh, Alright, let's... Before you do anything, though, uh, go ahead and take your rations straight out the bat. Um, just to make it a little bit easier for you on your track all the way to Area 5. Alright. Got that done. Uh, but today was a pretty long day. Uh, I've been cleaning a lot today. Which totally sucks. Um, cleaned all of my room and um, completely reorganized my sister's room. Um, so that was a mess. Uh, but, you know, I, I I told you guys, you're getting a video every day. So, um, I didn't care how tired I was. I was going to record today. And I am recording now. Um, we're still rocking the Assassin's Dagger. Uh, we won't be able to upgrade it to a Poison Dagger for uh, just a little bit longer. But I think um, we'll be there soon. Uh, actually, Poison Axe, not Poison Dagger. I don't know why I called it that. Uh, but it's a Poison Axe. Um... And they respawn for a little bit here, but, um, I don't think it's an infinite respawn. And actually, uh, there's another egg mission that you have to do, and you have to carry, I think, three. And they will respawn there indefinitely, I think, actually. Even in Area 1, they'll spawn. Actually, you know what? Maybe they do respawn here indefinitely. Or maybe it's just, like, two waves. I really can't remember. Um, exactly... How many times it does this? Hopefully, it's just two waves of it, and then we'll be good to go. Um, it's best to just clear it out before you do anything else. Um, makes your life way easier. Cause the egg missions are already hard, but once you bring in these guys, it's like hell on earth. Now I'm gonna actually leave one alive. Um, for the simple fact that I think if I leave him alive, the others won't respawn. And, um, so that'll make it a lot easier on me. Now, they don't spawn in area three, but they might spawn in area four, unless the Rathalos is there. Yeah, he's here. He hasn't seen us, so maybe he'll he'll leave. Oh. I think he spotted us. Oh, yeah. I don't know how that happened. But he definitely spotted us. Did we get a paintball on him? Nice. Cool, and we got him to run off and fall down. That's actually perfect. Oh lord, he's turning around. Maybe it's gonna be a fireball. Nope, he's rushing. This is fine because we're already up here. Ha, ah, nerd. Now, I'm not gonna kill these Velocipre in here. Because I think that we're actually gonna be able to get this egg and get out of here without having to kill them. But we will see. Oh man. Oh man. Oh, nope. I lied. Oh, he's coming here. Oh, boy. This is not what I wanted to happen at all. Oh, he's going to six. Awesome. That makes my life a lot easier. I did not want to do that. Ah, uh, that's okay. I need to hide. 
And he's getting up to leave again, I think. So he's probably going to come right back here. Okay, so maybe this Velocity Prey will, like, leave me alone. Maybe. We're just going to keep our eyes on him. And if we run in, um, angles. Oh my god. Ah, oh, that was stressful. Okay. Now it's, like, extremely important that you don't, um, run off ledges in this game. Now, he's going to follow me because we're holding his, his egg. Uh, so he'll always follow you if you have the egg, no matter what. Um, so I think he's going to land, and then he's going to open his wings, and, and yeah, exactly as I say it. Uh, he's probably going to turn around and come back to four. Let's see if we can get him to do that. Uh, he's probably going to two. He's going to two, actually. I forget that he can go to area two in this game. Okay, and now the Velociprator here. Hmm. I guess they spawn here after, um... After the Apsaros leave. I'm sorry I'm not talking as much. I'm really just trying to focus on getting out of here before... So, I'm, I'm not going to talk, actually. I'm not even ashamed about that. Oh, dear God. Please, no. Please. God in heaven. If there is a God, yes! Uh, um. So, um. They're here too. And that makes for a more difficult mission. But we're almost there. And this is only halfway done. Um, so you can see as to why lots of people never complete this game. That was hard. And we're only, like, halfway done. Ah, there's one down. Nice. So we're gonna take our Weldon... We're actually we're gonna run all the way back before we eat our Weldon steak. That's probably, um... The best bet. And I don't know if they respawn if you kill them here. Um, hopefully not. Um, but this this quest um, I'll tell you this quest isn't even the hardest egg carrying mission you would think um, That it would be but it is definitely um, No, I won't say it's the easiest by far uh, I would say the one that they start you off with in the beginning of the game is the easiest um, You don't really have to worry about fighting the Veloc Velocipur in every area um, and they kind of hold your hand. The, the Rathalos doesn't chase you nearly as much. And I actually haven't had any problems with him in this video so far. So that's great. Uh, I hope I don't drop the second egg, but I might. Alright. But uh, he tracks you more uh, intensely in, uh, in this mission when you have the egg. But I can't really say that because he hasn't really bothered me much. But I've completed this mission so many times that I can pretty much say from past experience. Another reminder, always use your first aid meds first before your potions in this game, please. And in every game, use the supply items first. Alright. Now... It seems like their accuracy is a little bit off when you're carrying the egg but when you're not i think maybe the game compensates for that i don't know how but um or maybe you're just more cautious when you're holding the egg and that makes you play a little bit differently 
You see how long it took me to kill that Velociper there. And this is the only way you can go. You can definitely go through like 4 to 3 to 10 to 8 to 1, but I don't know. This feels like it's out of the way for me. So I always go the, the, the quickest route. Um, we're actually going to use our herb here and top ourselves off with health. I don't know why. I just feel like it looks better to me. And then we're going to top our herbs back off. Alright. Now this game is um, extremely imperative to hunt and gather. Now a lot of monsters actually can't go between dual areas. But the Rathalos is, um, I think he's one of the only ones that can do that. And we do have our picks, so we are going to mine here and not use that. Uh, in the newer games, if you are holding a pickaxe, it will, um, in your inventory even, it will always um, give you the option to mine at these spots. But if you, in the older games, um, if you're not holding it, it will not give it to you. And you will use whatever item that is in your uh, slot. No matter... Um, if you're in front of it or not. No, I think these guys are gonna kill me. Yeah, oh, I, I, I didn't actually drop it. I thought I would drop it if I jumped, ran off of there, but I definitely didn't. And you know what? I'm not even. I didn't even use my um thing. Now you can run in the red. Um, but if you run out of it, you will definitely uh, stumble over, and then you will have to actually um go back and get the egg again so uh, you know you can use the red if you're right at the door but um if you're not at the door it's better to stay out of the red completely and not make that mistake as to um accidentally run out of stamina and have to run all the way back now this mission is the last one that you're gonna have to um worry about stamina after this um egg mission you're gonna be able to run with infinite stamina um through killing another monster uh, that will drop an item called a um oh man i think it's a dash x no 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 it's um power extract or something along those lines and it's some it's a, some type of extract and uh, you combine it with your well done steak and there's actually no velocity right here thank god we killed them all uh that's the power of good planning uh this mission would take someone that has never played the game uh considerable amount of time to complete um they would actually probably fail a few times and i'm not really worried about him it takes him so long to get in the area and he's actually stuck on the map if you look <laughs> or is he stuck yeah he's stuck he is outside of the map right now huh i don't know if there's gonna be um guys here probably not because we killed them all. Ah, oh, dude. Home free. Easy day. Now, he can't actually come into Area 1. He can go everywhere but Area 1. And that's the power of um, using your brain. Now, it might not be fun, but it definitely makes your life easier. And that is in every aspect of your life. If you will grind, dude. You can have anything you want, honestly. Um, it's true in everything you do. Job relationship school anything you do if you're willing to put in the effort beforehand um you will get the the result afterwards that is sweeter and definitely a hundred percent worth all the effort you put in and that was a harder mission we got 800 points for completing that or zenny and uh we got a 200 back and now if you didn't know contract if you fail the mission you have to pay that So, don't fail missions. Um, we haven't failed a single mission yet. Um, we might in this series. I, I doubt we will, but... You know, it happens. It happens. I definitely would cut it out, though. For sure. You wouldn't see that. I'm way too egotistical to let anyone know that I'm bad at anything. And we got some more... We got some Mega Nutrients, Nutrients, and Power Seed and Armor Seed. Now, those are actually good for... Um, Oh man, making um, 
What is that item that gives you? So, maybe it's a Kelby horn that you have to. I don't remember. I don't even know if it's in this game. But um, I think you can combine a Kelby horn with a Mega Nutrients, and it will give you a uh, Ancient Potion. I'm not entirely sure. But what Nutrients and Mega Nutrients does, it will give you uh, an extra 20 or an extra 40 health, depending if it's Nutrients or Mega Nutrients. Now, in the last video, uh, actually, not in the last video, off screen, I decided that I was going to get another weapon. And right now, it's just the Bone Blade Plus, And that comes um, directly from just the Bone Blade. So I upgraded it once with a few uh, small monster bones. And uh, next, it will be the Serpent Blade. And after that, it will be the Great Serpent Blade. And we will use that on a few missions. Uh, we actually need some Velocidrome Claws, which I'm not going to get in this video. Uh, I'll show you probably in a, in a later video about that. Probably next episode, actually. Um, but moving right along, let's go ahead and complete our last mission for this. Uh, and grab a few things before we go. Um, let's see. I don't really need any barrel bomb. Actually, we'll take we'll take a single small barrel bomb just so we can do the cool little um stun on him, get some extra damage, and we don't really need any of that to be honest with you. Uh, we'll probably buy some of those later for combining purposes, but not really worried about it now. All right, last mission of the three star quests. Uh, Yain Cutku really isn't that much trouble no matter where you fight it, but. Fighting in the forest and hills is probably the easy, easiest uh, way to fight him. Now, this mission is actually a 40-minute timer. Um, I didn't realize how many missions in this game. Actually, they gave us small barrel bombs. Oh, we have no inventory space left. Uh, what can we get rid of? This. This. The old bug net. It's kind of embarrassing. And we'll use a few of these right off the bat so we won't have to worry about space. Yeah, we'll go ahead and use our rations. And we're not going to touch those for a long while. And we get the large barrel because large barrels are expensive. And we can just turn those into barrel bombs, which are like 500 zenny a piece, which is kind of crazy to me. Um, but I think later in the game, uh, money isn't as big of an object as it is so early. Because a lot of the monsters drop items that are really high in um, zenny price. I think a, like a Rathalo shell is worth like 800 or something like that. And that don't get me started on like the wings and shit like that. No, it sounds like the cut queue is here. I see him over there. Let's see if we can... Did you actually hear that? He just yawned. Uh, they, they do that. I don't think he's going to sleep. Yeah, he's, he's leaving. Uh, maybe we can see where he's going. Looks like he's going to Area 3. Now, I, I'm actually kind of glad about that. I would not like to fight him in 9 if I didn't have to. Uh, but a lot of times you're stuck fighting him here. Yep, he's right here. And the Apsaros is going gonna, is gonna to run away. Ap Aptanoth? to the that thing yeah they'll, they'll run away um, after he sees me and he didn't even see me yet um, a good way to know if a monster has seen you as you probably already know if you're this far in the series there will be an eye beside your name and that lets you know that the monster knows that you are there and we've actually got a, a fair few uh, hits on him before he even saw us This game really values the positioning of a player. If you can position yourself correctly, you're gonna be in good shape pretty much 24-7. Um, but you know, every now and then you'll get hit by weird things like that. Like a tail that's swinging backwards. So it's probably best to be on his right side. Let's see, yeah. And you should be due to not fall over or not. So this guy really hasn't given us any trouble at all. I mean, he's knocked us down a few times, but pretty much 
laying into him. Okay, got in the way of that. Yeah, and that's uh, that's not that big of a problem, but it's kind of annoying, especially when you're like right on the precipice and when you get stunned. Yeah, that's that's. So we got a little bit of health back from that. Uh, oh god. Oh, that's a nice little edge dodge. Awesome. He ran and fell. Doesn't seem to be in rage mode yet, but I think he will be soon. And so because of that, we're just going to go ahead and get one more combo off on him. And then, um, yeah, I'm going to try to knock him down before we put our barrel bomb. So as soon as he gets up, we can just, instantly get him back into it. Let's see if we can block this. Nice. Yeah. Runs and falls. Ah, that's, that's pretty... Well, I wouldn't say that's big damage, but it's pretty annoying damage. Now let's go ahead and heal one more time before we use our small barrel bomb. Yeah, I'm not even going to worry about knocking him over at this point. Now it's pretty much just... Lay damage on him. Now, I don't know if this is worth... Blocking does take away sharpness. And that's a move that he reserves only for his rage mode. And he does considerably more damage when he's in rage mode if you if you notice that damage that the tail swipe did. Like if I get hit right now, I would probably die, most likely. And yeah, he's out of rage mode now. Uh, but that still did. A decent amount of damage. Uh, okay. This is gonna limp away now. Now he's gonna have to he has to limp all the way to the center of the area. Yeah. That's fine. Uh a little tip that maybe you didn't know. Uh if you get hit by uh or rather if he gets hit by a bomb in his sleep it will do extra damage um i don't think i have any fire herbs with me and so we can't really show it off because i don't have uh anywhere actually while he's doing that we're gonna collect nitro shrooms really quickly and i know this should be probably done off screen but i don't care so we'll go here and we'll collect a few of these it's not really that important. He's gonna just fly all the way to area five, anyways. Uh, we don't need special mushrooms. That's only six. He's any. Uh, when he turns blue, you will know that he is sleeping, and that will uh, let you know that you have a bit of time. Now, also, when they're sleeping, they regenerate health, and so he might not be um, as weak as he was once we get to him. But we'll wake him up with a bomb and um, maybe two bombs. Yeah, why not? Unless a Velocipre wake him up first. Now, he's just fallen asleep, so he really hasn't started regenerating anything quite yet. Um, but if you let them sleep for an extended period of time, they will definitely regenerate enough health to become a more difficult opponent once again. 
but he's pretty much on the edge still of death. So as soon as we kill him, we're going to um, mine, but hopefully we have enough slots in our inventory. So he's sleeping. So go ahead and put some bombs in his mouth. Yoink. Oh, we actually knocked him over. We definitely should have sharpened our weapon. Um, that was probably something that I should have done. But didn't do. Man. It'd probably always be better for you to kill him outside of this area just because of the Velociprey. Because they're just here to make your life harder. Yeah, he should die from this combo right here. If we can actually complete a combo without bouncing. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Now, I don't even know if we're going to be able to sharpen... Not sharpen, rather, um, carve and mine with all these Velocipher here. Hopefully it won't be too annoying. But you don't take damage after the quest is over anyways. It's not that big a deal. And that actually helped me out a little bit because I was going to be still... Uh, we can get rid of um, the map. Don't need that at this point. Where's the mining spot? Oh, it's over here. Nice. Iron ore. Let's see if we can get some earth crystals and macalite ore. There's the earth crystal. Let's see what else? Whetstone. I don't know if we'll get anything else. Yeah, we only have three seconds. Doubt it. Nope. Oh well. That's fine. That's totally fine. Uh, I really wasn't expecting you to get too much out of it. Um, but yeah, guys. That was that. Uh, and we got a cut Q shell. I thought it was an ear. That sucks. And we'll go ahead and get rid of... Um, what can we get rid of? You know what? I'm gonna actually get rid of the large barrel wasn't doing it for me anymore it's sad i know so that's all of the three star quests done um next thing we're going to be doing is probably our urgent i think that's all of them unless there's one that it wasn't showing me uh, but let's go over and see what is next the land shark slay the cephedrome oasis town chief our pack animals were eaten by something in the desert, but nobody actually saw the monster's attack. Find and slay the alpha monster. So, if you remember back, we completed the Liver of Legend quest where we had to kill Cephalos. Well, just like the Cephalos, or just like the um, Velociprey, there is a, a Cephadrome. Um, so Velocidrome, Cephadrome. Um, so they're kind of annoying too. Uh, but don't worry, we will complete them in the next episode, and we will be extremely prepared. Um, so thanks for watching episode 6. Uh, if you stuck around this far, I hope you stick around the whole series. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more. And yeah guys, it's been Wrath, thanks for watching again, and we will see you next time. Later.